welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will show you how we can interpret the results of mantle test and how we can prepare this mantle test figure using r so let's begin with the interpretation of uh, this figure so as here you can see this figure is actually representing two metrics so as here there are pH nitrogen to phosphorus then we have carbon to nitrogen then AK and uh, here I mean there are the different parameters and this is actually the simple correlation and in this case this is Pearson correlation so let's suppose if we want to see like pH has correlation with SOM parameter so you can see and relate its color with Pearson R correlation coefficient so you can see this is positive and as it would be going toward more blue so it means the highest correlation with carbon to nitrogen and similarly you can see the TK and uh, TP I mean that and you can see the total potassium and total phosphorus has actually the negative correlation so in this uh, half triangle you can see this is the simple correlation which we often deal in our studies uh, but now we have connected actually the two metrics and we have tried to know I mean how the two metrics are related to each other so this part I mean you can see we have the species data I mean species 1 species 2 and species 3 and uh, this part is actually uh, can be interpreted with these two keys so one is actually the p-value so p-value will tell whether this correlation coefficient is significant or not so if we can see the species one has uh, several trend lines we call these as the trend lines so we can see this has positive trend line with with this color you can see the pH and pH you can see is value is less than 0 0.01 so it means this is significant so it means species 1 are significantly correlated with pH and similarly it is also significantly correlated with carbon to nitrogen ratio and if we can see uh, when this line color is green so you can see it's it's actually uh, more than its p value is more than 0 0.05 so it means it is non significant so so we can see the species one is significantly associated with ph and significantly associated with carbon to nitrogen and similarly ph is also significantly correlated with this uh, species 3 so in this way we can uh, by color we can identify if it is in the orange color so this is significantly correlated and if it is in the green color so it is non significantly correlated so now what about the i mean the r value so as the you can see the width would, would be more the mantle's correlation coefficient would be more so you can see when the correlation is high i mean more than 0.4 so you can see its width would be increased so in this way uh, we can see uh, the mantle test is used to check the correlation between two matrices now let's move towards uh, r and i will show you how we can perform this analysis through simple r script so i will paste the link of uh, r script on my github page so you can go to the video detail and uh, you can see how you can access to this so let me uh, first go to the folder where i have saved this so i have actually saved this in r and here we have mantle test and let me go to this one so uh, we have actually uh, this r script let me open this i have already opened now there are actually the two files one is the operational taxonomic units i mean the species data let me open it for you and show you how actually it looks like so you can see here we have otu ids i mean the different operational taxonomic unit data are we also called it as the genetic data so and here we have the different variables i mean the 12. 
so one we have otu data and next we have the environment data which would be of course the different parameters so let me open this for you as well so you can see here we have the different samples and for each sample we have the different parameters like ph nitrogen to phosphorus carbon to nitrogen ak and that's all so now what we want we want to uh, make uh, this mantle test diagram so let me uh, first uh, load my packages so and uh, for this mantle test we will be using two packages so one of them is tidyverse and the second one is link it so let me uh, this library use library function to activate them so you can see now they are actually the activated and now let me go to the files where i have these files so i have um, put my files there let me go to that portions uh, okay oh sorry let me go again to academic and uh, yeah we go to our mantle test new and open so you can see here we have the two file environment.txt and otu.txt so i can make this directory as working directory first okay so now let me read my file so first file is actually let me read the otu file as txt then we will use the transpose function so let me do this so here you see we have just pre-processed our data i mean which is the df in case of this otu and we name this so you can see this table has 12 observation of 60 variables so if you want to see let me show you so you can see automatically transpose this data for the samples because in the sample we have we have arranged our sample in like this manner so that is why i have transposed them and we can see we have all the 60 variable for our our 12 observation so now uh, go back to our second data and second data is actually the environment data in which we have uh, our different parameters so let me read this one as well so i will simply click on run so you can see our environment data is also loaded so you can see here we have again our sample names and then we have the parameters and uh, now let me perform the mental test first before going to make uh, this uh, mantle figure so to perform mantle test i mean you can assign i mean the different indices based on likes species one you want one to three and species two maybe four to six and species three seven to nine it is up to you i mean whatever you want so i will simply click on run so you can see the mantle test is calculated so you can see for each species and for each parameter we have r value then we have p value for all species and parameters so now let me begin and make and visualize our results to visualize results so i will uh, give this script to my github page so you can directly download and use these example for practice purpose as well and now let me uh, draw the mantle test figure so i will simply click on run so you can see here we have our let me zoom in you can see here we have our mantle test figure ready so we can directly use it in our research purpose so hopefully uh, this script would be easy for you to find it on my github page if you have still any question related to this please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching bye bye